the topic is team awards. If you're going to give team awards out at your competition, you need to set them up first. To do that, you go to the team tab in your meet planner. Third from the top is select teams for team awards. What you'll see on this next page is the number of gymnasts per level per team that is in your competition. You can go through manually and select the level and then the teams that would compete at that level. But easier, far easier, is to push this pre-select all in the table below with three or more per level, this button at the top. If you submit there, then it will automatically go generate the list of teams which meet the criteria of having three or more gymnasts at that level. And so it builds this table for you and you could be done at this point. But what if there's a team that doesn't want to uh, participate in team awards? Then you can scroll down back to that table that I had just shown you. You can select the level, let's say uh, Excel Silver, and you could deselect that team from, from the selected teams that competing. And so then if you saved this after deselecting that team, you would then have taken them out of the team competition. But I'm not going to save, let's just at this point go, go on. If you had had the need to, to use not the top three scores, but perhaps the top four scores in your team competition, then you would have um, set this value right there Three is the default because it is the most commonly used value, but if you need to set four, five, whatever, you would set it there. If you set a different number there and then go back into the select teams for team awards, it would then select the, the number of teams which had the four or more or the five or more, whatever value you had specified. At awards time, after providing you individual awards, and, you, and you're ready to move on to team awards, you go down to this team awards section on the awards report, you select the level that you want to do your team awards for, and then you apply the filter. If you had all of your levels, um, like a particular level contained within one session, or you selected it, uh, your sessions by age group, so you want to um, go across all of the sessions with that level, before giving you know, the winner, right? Then you would say across all settings, I mean across all sessions, you want to then say use all of those sessions to calculate the, that um, award report. But if you had um, created your sessions by team, so not by age group, then you might have said, well, I want to consider this session only. So I want to only go for one session, then you provide the specific session that you, that you want it to look at for selecting your team awards, and then you would submit. And at that point, you would get the set of winners at that level that were only in that session. Okay, and that's it. Thanks.